Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here today, and today we are back in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee for a hotel review and stay. We are staying at the Inn at Christmas Place here on the main strip in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. This is one of our favorite hotels. We have a little bit of a backstory here. We've been coming here for a long time. Seth and I actually got engaged at this hotel. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a really, really nice hotel that we love to stay at. Um, so we're going to give you guys a full tour of the hotel and all of its amenities. So if you'd like to join us, let's go. The Inn at Christmas Place opened in June of 2007 in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. The Inn resides on Christmas Tree Lane on the main strip in Pigeon Forge. Check-in for the Inn begins at 4 p.m., so we're going to head inside and check in for our stay. Once inside the lobby, you will instantly feel the Christmas spirit that can be felt throughout the hotel. And here at the front desk, they do have displayed some little gift baskets you can buy for your party in your room. They also have some other things for sale. It looks like some postcards and things. So here's a quick look at everything that they have here at the front desk. And if you are celebrating a birthday or any sort of anniversary, they can actually put a little tribute to you and your party up here on the TV. So be sure to tell them when you check in um, or make your reservation that you have a special occasion. And they do have a live musician here every Friday night from 5 to 7. So you can come down here in the lobby and enjoy some music. And we are checking in on a Friday, but we will definitely try our best to visit the Singing Santa tomorrow, which is Saturday at 8.05. This is a great treat. So also right here in the lobby, they've got a easy uh, sort of a directory here of where everything is at. Just kind of let you read through there. So right here to the left of the elevators is the lower level of the lobby. And this is also where they have breakfast. And they do have a very beautiful clock down here. So we'll head down here and show you guys now. So here is a close up of the clock. And every hour it will chime and some little things will pop out and move and um, it will play Christmas music, uh, like I said, every hour. Right now it's only about 6.30, so hopefully we'll catch this a little later on. So as we said, it goes off every hour. And even in the elevator, they let you know every day how many days you have until Christmas, as well as some events going on around the hotel. All right, we found our room, room 535. Let's head in and check it out. All right, guys, so let's check out our room. I'm gonna start here with the kitchen. Already got some of our stuff here. We do have a microwave, which a lot of the hotels that we stay in sometimes do not have that, so we appreciate that. We also have our fridge, a little bit larger, I'd say, than a standard mini fridge. We also have our coffee maker. Again, this uh, hotel, about said resort, <laughs> this hotel is fully themed to Christmas, um, which you guys are going to be able to see here. So this is a standard two queen room. Again, everything themed to Christmas. Even the bedspread is a um, Christmassy red color. We also have the pillow here that says Silent Night. We also have the wreath over here. Of course, we have a Bible open to, I'm not sure exactly what page there, but sure, we'll check that out later. We also have another bed over here, same pillow, just some decorative snowy artwork. And we did not get a room with the balcony, but ours just has a standard window with a view to the Pigeon Forge strip over here. So, and passing by another snowy piece of artwork. They also give you the name of your, I guess your maid or whoever's gonna be taking care of your room. So if you, at the end of your stay, and Seth and I usually do this, if you wanna leave any comments or any like, um, I guess nice comments for the people who took care of your room, you can do so and you'll actually know who they were. So hopefully Audrey does a great job for us. But let's go past the TV here 
our little reindeer friends and our little um, Christmas tree. And actually, before we head to the bathroom, Seth, isn't there usually like a little step pedal for it to turn that off? Somewhere. It's probably hidden. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, let's see. Let's see it. So they have a little like um, step pedal right there to turn off the Christmas tree. A lot of people probably don't know that's there and sleep with it on, but um, we typically turn that one off. But let's go here past the luggage rack to the bathroom. So we did get a room with a tub. I think we've always gotten this and we usually don't have to ask. So I'm not really sure if they only have shower options. But we have the sink here. Again, everything is themed to Christmas. So we have another little tree in here. Some more artwork and some more just um, garland and things like that. So basically that is our room in a nutshell. Hopefully we've asked the front desk, so fingers crossed, hopefully we get to tour some other rooms. But this is just a, a general look at ours. So we're gonna keep walking around the resort. I keep saying resort, the hotel, <laughs> and we'll take you guys with us. And something else about uh, each room is that you do have access to the Christmas Place channels. So on channel 10, which is the channel it was on when we came in, is the Yule Log, which plays the Christmas music and has the Yule Log basically 24-7. They also have a Santa concert and stories channel. And it says at the top of every hour that Santa does his concerts. So if you really, really want to get into the Christmas spirit, those are two good ways to do so. And it really is the little touches, even the room keys, they remind you in a very cutesy way to be sure to return your room keys to the front desk. And it says you will be on the naughty list if you do not do so. So very cute. So we are going to tour a mini suite. Mm -hmm. And this one's a little bit different than our standard two queen. It does have one king bed along with the whirlpool tub. And it does have, we aren't allowed to touch anything in here, so I'll just kind of give you a little bit of a view here. But it does have this larger kind of balcony patio set up out here. Yeah, so oh, thank you. Here. Perfect. So there's a quick look at that. Yep, you're good. So here's the view from outside. You can see right down here to the breakfast area in the front of the hotel. So this is a really great view if you're wanting to stay here and kind of overlook the hotel itself. So let's head back in here and check it out. Also, all of the suites and mini suites do have a full-size Christmas tree. I know ours just had the little mini one up top. And they still have your TV here as well as the fireplace. But this one is really very nice. But I think the bathroom and everything is going to be pretty similar to ours. And they actually have a shower in this one. So we have the bathtub and they actually have the shower. But everything else in here looks pretty similar to ours with the bathroom size and like the counter size. But this is really very nice. So this is another option if you're looking to stay here. So here at the front desk, we've seen that the uh, Elves Retreat and Holly Health Club is down this way. So we're gonna go try to find out where it's at. So the Holly Health Club is right down here at the end of the hallway. We were unable to find the Elves Retreat. Not sure what that's supposed to be exactly, but we think it might be this door. There's no sign or anything, but we're gonna skip that and just go in here and check out the Health Club. So here is the Holly Health Club. Looks like they just have a couple different exercise machines, like some bikes and things like that, and one treadmill. Not uh, too big of a gym, but it's definitely an option if you're looking to work out while you're on vacation. And of course, it is still themed to Christmas. We have a Snoopy tree over here in the corner with a little doghouse and his little plane up there, of course. So still fitting with the theme of the hotel. So let's head outside from the main lobby and get some nighttime views of the hotel and check out some other amenities. So here is a view from the outside of the rooms that have the outdoor balconies or terraces. So this hotel also has specific parking spots for electric vehicles and they do over there have the charging stations. So that's a pretty cool little nod and a perk of staying at this hotel. As you can see, the hotel still offers beautiful views even at night. So now let's head back inside and grab one of our favorite nightly treats. 
Something really cool that we found is that all day and evening in the front lobby is they offer uh, some fresh hot coffee here. Uh, looks like they've got a cozy Christmas coffee. Maybe it's a custom blend, breakfast blend, and decaffeinated. So right now they have the cookies at the front desk as well as Seth mentioned they do have the coffee out all day over there. I did ask if they had any like kid friendlier versions of drinks. They said that they typically don't but on the nights with the singing Santa they do have milk and cookies downstairs. But as far as the regular nights go the only uh, beverage you can get with the cookies is the coffee. So here's the DVD selection of all of the DVDs they have that you can take to your room. Looks like they have quite a few. Also, they have a game list, just like the DVDs. It is complimentary. So, as promised, let's head downstairs and check out the Singing Santa concert. Well, it's good to have you here. Welcome to the end. We're getting ready to celebrate 15 years, though. What are y'all been at? <laughs> Took 15 years. We're glad you're here. And I'm sure you figured out by now what we love Christmas time around here at the end. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring. So we roll it up to some fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime and jingle bell die. Let the jingle bell swing and jingle bell swing. Let the frosty eyes watch the bright night. It's the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell. We are going to turn in for the night, so we will see you guys in the morning for breakfast. Breakfast is located on the first floor below the lobby and is accessible from the elevator or via the second floor lobby stairs. So we've made it down to the ground floor for breakfast, so we're going to head inside and check out the menu and take you guys along with us. So they do have an omelet station as well as there is some gravy biscuits, bacon, and things back here straight ahead. We also have drinks over here, donuts and things, so we'll show you up close in just a second. So they have a fruit bar over here and everything um, is by service, so they will serve you. So here's a quick look at the fruit bar. It looks like they have some toppings and yogurt as well. So here's a quick look at all the offerings. They have the biscuits here. It looks like some grits, gravy, potatoes, eggs. Not sure exactly what that is back there. It looks like ham and uh, some sausage. So they also have the drink station over here with basically anything you think of. 2% milk, chocolate milk, orange juice, apple juice. And they also have some cereal. It looks like some oatmeal over here as well. And uh, they also have hot chocolate there. And here's a pastry and donut station equipped with a toaster and microwave. And they also have these really cool uh, waffle stations uh, like you would see at you know, some other hotels and resorts. So say you had some people visiting or just wanted to eat here for breakfast, that is available, but it is $17.99 for guests who are not staying at the hotel. So this morning, they're actually seating people in one of the conference rooms, just because uh, it seems a little on the busier side this morning. They're set over there. So here's a quick look at the spread we got. You can go back multiple times, of course. Um, but I got gravy biscuits, sausage, and potatoes, and set that the same just with some eggs. Morning, Santa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm lovely. Thank you. So, as you come out of the breakfast area and the bottom of the lobby there where Santa was, they have plenty of outdoor seating here at this patio area. And this is their garden lounge area, which is the front of the property near the main road. It's real pretty out here. And there's some nice views of the hotel itself in the rooms. It looks like over here they've got the fire pit. Uh, we've seen that during certain times of the year they will have a fire out here and you can roast marshmallows and make s'mores. It also looks like this pathway leads to the outdoor pool. And look we've got us uh, some parrots and birds. Hello. Oh, you're pretty. <laughs> yeah. 
So the thing about these birds, they are a part of Parrot Mountain, which is here in Pigeon Forge. They actually keep some birds out here some during the day, and I think they've got a cage uh, indoors. And we've also seen some in the island here too. But uh, anywho, I guess they let some of the birds come out here, sort of some advertisement. Uh, it's fun to look at. Yeah, yeah, it gives you something to look at. I think he's washing. Oh, he wants to be in the star of the show here. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've got to go now. And this week's subscriber of the week is Patrick. Thanks, Patrick, for watching and commenting on our last adventure. If you want to be the subscriber of the week, check the comments to see how to enter. So right over here, still on the same level as the front desk, we're going to go out here and check out the patio since um, it is somewhere really nice and cozy to sit and overlook the rest of the hotel. So as I said, you can definitely overlook a lot of the hotel here as well as the main strip right over here. It is a very just cozy and nice place to sit and relax, even maybe have your breakfast. All right, guys, so quick review of our breakfast. This hotel does offer like a um, really nice breakfast, not like a continental breakfast that you would find maybe at like a um, smaller chain hotel or resort. Um, they have the omelet bar, waffle bar, they have gravy biscuits, they have um, basically any breakfast cereal yeah. that you would want, any breakfast sides that you would want. So it's always really good. You're not really gonna find a nice hotel usually that offers this type of service. Like for example, when we stayed at Margaritaville, it is on the higher side of hotels, like yeah. I guess like five and four star hotels, which this one I think is a four star hotel. I think, yeah. Yeah, so um, typically they don't serve that sort of breakfast or provide that kind of service. So that is one thing that we like about this resort, I keep saying resort, this hotel, um, is that they do offer that service. So it is always a very, very good. So I definitely recommend making use of that because breakfast here in Pigeon Forge can get pretty expensive if yeah. you go out to eat. So this is definitely something that is free and well worth it because it is delicious. And it looks like right now they currently have a scavenger hunt underway. It looks like there are a couple things to look for throughout the hotel. We've never done that before. If we have time, we might try to do that for you guys. And they also have a spot here for you to write letters to Santa and of course mail them. And out here on the bottom level of the lobby, we do have the indoor pool, which if you are not sure where it is, just look for the tropical Santa and Christmas tree. So you do need your key card to enter. So let's go check out the indoor pool and see what it's like. So here is the pool, the indoor pool, and they do have a jacuzzi, it looks like over here. And we'll go outside here as well and show you guys the outdoor pool, but this is a pretty simple, pretty simple pool area it is very steamy in here right now so i apologize if that looks kind of funky let's go outside and check out the outdoor pool so the pool hours are 9 to 10 and they ask that you just you know don't enter the pool at any other time but of course we're between those hours so we're allowed out here now but here's a quick look at the outdoor pool it looks like there is a pretty fun looking slide here and just a um looks like a pretty fun outdoor pool area. Nothing too fancy or special, but something that the kids and the family can definitely enjoy. So one of the reasons this hotel is called the Inn at Christmas Place is because it is on the same street and right across from the Christmas Place, which was the original store. It is a huge Christmas store. It has basically everything you could think of, even has a like candy store. And we're gonna try to cover that for you guys as well. But just kind of wanted to give you a backstory for why it's called the Inn at Christmas Place. So we are over here at the Christmas Place store, which is right across the road from our hotel. We're gonna go in and take a look at some of the merchandise for you guys. So it looks like they're doing some sort of construction here, maybe some kind of fountain or something, but I don't know. Hopefully we'll find out one day here soon. So this store is pretty big. It's sectioned off by like different themes or types of merchandise. I'll give you an example like here. Here it's more of the like snowy type of merchandise or um, people dressed in white. So it's a lot to look at and a lot to take in. 
So here's some themed snow globes with some Star Wars, Snoopy, Meowy Christmas. And one of our favorite sections in the whole store is the Christmas Village room, where they have all sorts of different kinds of Christmas villages. We'll show you guys some now. So here is the Grinch. You can see they have a lot of different things from Hoonville. And here we have a couple different items from A Christmas Story. We also have a Dickens Village, Christmas Vacation, a Snow Village, a Mickey Mouse Village, and a more traditional Christmas Village. They also have a Halloween Village. This is one of our favorite ones to look at. It's always so cute. But look, there is a booby traps there. Skeleton on the swing. This one I think is actually my favorite out of all the ones in here. It kind of looks like this little section has a lot of things that are themed to pets. So here looks like a nativity scene of cats. They also sell many different types of artificial Christmas trees. And one of our favorite areas of this store is the personalization part of it. We have gotten an ornament in here every year that we have been together um, since 2011. So this is actually one of our little traditions that we have formed with this store. You can get personalized ornaments for couples or families or for different types of professions or occasions. We'll try to show you a couple of examples of those now. So here we have wedding ornaments, engagement ornaments, baby ornaments, sports ornaments, pet ornaments, ornaments for large families, and profession-based ornaments. So once you have your ornament, you're gonna walk back into this room, get in line, and go have it personalized. And you pay for it at the registers up front. And the personalization is free with the price of the ornament. They also have outside of the main store, the Partridge and Pear Boutique and Mrs. Claus's Sweet Shop. They also have a new photo experience called Santa's House where you can actually go in and meet Santa. And today it looks like he is here. We're not gonna go in. Uh, we have a Santa over at our hotel, so we're gonna leave this for the other patrons, but good to know that it's here. We are back at the front desk to check out, and just a reminder, check out is at 11 a.m. So we were checking out, and they gave us another coupon for the Elf Award program for our stay. So um, if you're interested in joining that program, just ask when you check in. Usually we get a $10 or $20 coupon for every stay. All right, guys, so we are all done with our stay here at the Inn at Christmas Place. Wanted to just give you guys a brief overview of our stay. We hope you enjoyed both room tours, the amenities, and the overall hotel tour. Um, this is one of our favorite places to stay. Seth and I actually got engaged here, kind of like I mentioned earlier, back in um, 2016. Yeah. So uh, this is a really special place for us. We've been staying here for some time. It is always top notch, always clean, never any issues with it. And they are constantly adding to what they offer. Like for example, in the past, they haven't really focused as much, or I guess maybe we haven't noticed on like the character interactions. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that they're really pushing that more. They really want you to be able to interact with some of the characters as part of your experience. So that's awesome. And they've got like a lot of activities. Yeah, uh, So make sure you look at like the calendar, mm -hmm. uh, especially around seats certain seasons they yeah. have things you know kind of geared towards like yep. easter yep. or you know uh, fourth uh, of july or those anything type of yeah, any type of holidays they have like family events you can actually just walk into the elevator and find a list of activities for the day so they're they're really good about pushing that as mm -hmm. well um, but we hope you guys get to visit here soon if you do i definitely recommend looking on the website beforehand or calling because yeah. they are always running specials and deals this week we are able to get a discount with like 20 percent off of our room so that's why i, I say that be sure to mm -hmm. check because you're probably going to be able to get a discount. But this place is great. They offer a lot of things. Um, and they are definitely up there in the stars yeah. for, you know, hotels. And we always enjoy staying here. And it's really good for the money. Mm -hmm. But we hope that you guys will subscribe to the channel. Comment. Let us know if you've ever stayed here before. And, of course, like the video. Uh, but until next time, guys. We, we hope, hope to see you on the next adventure. adventure. Bye.